Hi guys, my name's uh, Ollie Rayner. I've uh, been a professional cricketer for 15 years, played for Sussex and Middlesex most recently. Um, and your director of sport, Johnny, has asked me to have a quick word with you or share a few tips, a few thoughts on spin especially, um, me being off spinner. Uh, it's probably best that I stick to that and don't try and teach you too much outside of the realms that I know. Um, I'm sure you're really uh, frustrated at the moment, gagging to get out there and start training. Um, obviously with this uh, current pandemic with COVID-19, uh, it's not been ideal for everyone. Um, you've probably watched loads of little clips on Twitter, so if you've already seen some of this, then I apologise, but it's all good stuff. Um, so yeah, why don't we get going? So I've got a ball here. Uh, this is a kookaburra ball. Um, it's a specific spin ball. Uh, it's got two two colours on it, the red and the white. So that let me just lick my, my fingers, fingers so I can show you. Otherwise, I'm going to have a rubbish scene. So when I when I spin it in my fingers like this, you should be able to see. Yeah, it's hard to tell on the phone. A bit sketchy, but you should be able to see one side more than the other. So when you release the ball when you're bowling to a batter, if you've got the white side in, into your palm. When you bowl it, you should just see the white side and it will give you a good impression of how good your seam is. Right, I think it will be the same for a ball that you guys use at school. If not, forgive me. Um, on a professional cricket ball, uh, you have the seam and then you have a thing called the quarter seam here. You won't be able to see There you go, you might be able to see it. Little line down the middle there. So a little tip for me is there's so many variables in sport. Um, you don't know what the batsman's going to do, you don't know what you're going to deliver all the time, you don't know what the pitch is going to do, etc. etc. So I always like to have a few things that I can do every time, which is a good routine, and uh, is, is the same every time. So what I do is, I, as I bowl off spin, my main finger here, I put on the quarter seam, every time. Line it up with that quarter seam there. Okay, my grip is pretty, pretty wide, I've got quite big hands. Uh, you guys might not have big old mitts yet. Um, but yeah, I try and spread them about halfway round, so both fingers are more or less on the quarter seam there. Uh, but this finger always on the same bit every time. So I line up my finger every time the same. Don't have to do that, just a tip from myself. Um, right, bowling off spin. Really like to push the ball quite deep into my fingers, not much of a gap here, you see. I could probably just get a finger through there, yeah? If you, the deeper you push the ball into your fingers like that, the more spin you're probably going to get, but the harder it is to control. Okay, so sometimes if I'm not getting a lot of spin and I need some control, I just loosen that up nice and loose like that. So now I can get nearly two, two fingers through there. Yeah, and that helps me guide the seam. Okay, so if it's not spinning a lot, I want to get more overspin to cause a bit more dip and a bit more bounce. And if it is spinning, I don't worry about that. Side spin. Like if you go to the subcontinent or you're on a dust bowl and you just want spin, the bounce and everything's not as relevant at this stage. You just want to spin as much as you can. Don't worry about how much top spin you're getting. Um, so that's a little tip from that side of things. Um, now, a traditional off spinner's grip would be your, your first finger would be uh, the main finger that you use to spin the ball. Okay, and you only really use your second finger as well for support. Now a lot of books and things say you shouldn't have your thumb on the ball. I always had the thumb on the ball. I, I found like A, it was comfortable and B, it gave me a bit more control of the seam where it was going. But it's a real preference. Uh, I knew a guy that played for Derbyshire and Somerset called Wes Durston and, and he actually held the ball in these two fingers. I can't even do it. Um, you know, I can't even get my uh, fingers that wide. And he bowled off spin and he was a good spinner as well. So these are very much guidelines. They're not the be all and end all. Stick with your, your technique if it works for you. Um, I'm very big on that. I don't like to be over technical with things. If it feels comfortable and it works, go with it. Just keep practicing it. Practice, practice, practice. Um, now, I know that there might be a few leggies out there as well. Okay, so I'm an off spinner, so I don't want to pretend I'm a professional or an expert on leg spin, but I have bowled a few leggies, you know, just to mix things up in the past. Now, the grip's slightly different for a leggy. So you use these three fingers now. I can't see where the best way of showing you is, like that. Okay, now your third finger is actually the one that the ball's going to spin off. Okay, the middle finger, so you have it like an off spinner's uh, grip. But not quite as wide, I wouldn't say. Yeah, and then 
you flick in this your third finger is the one that flicks and does the spin so i'll see if i can show you here so here's my here's my grip for leggies you might be able to hear a bit of a flick in my wrist there that's just me being old now knackered okay so obviously at the moment we're all very limited on space we don't have 22 yards plus a run-up and a space for a wicket keeper to practice in our garden some of us might but a lot of us might not one thing i always say to people that are coach you know like young guys and girls who are coach is that even if you're at home you know i don't know you might be watching love island or whatever you guys watch just sit on the sofa and get that feeling just you just can just sit there just sit there and flick the ball spin it really feel that spin on your fingers yeah same with the leggies sorry to keep licking my hands a bit colder today so i need a little bit of grip on my fingers same with the leggies just sit there and flick it out it's nice and easy okay just get that real feeling of spin okay so me being an orthodox spinner orthodox means i don't really have any real big tricks like the doozras like sackclane uh, millerithrin side ajmal obviously before he uh unfortunately wasn't really legal in the end very hard to bowl a douche without a bent arm now you're allowed to bowl with a, de a, be a bent arm very slightly but you can't straighten it it's the deg degree of angle when you release the ball okay so if my arm's always bent and never alters in a degree it, technically it's legal but the minute you start trying to bring that into your game on purpose you are likely to then start you know bad habits creeping in so i'm not trying to endorse that at all i'm just saying to bowl a douche you do need a slight bend in the arm hence a lot of normal orthodox ospinners like myself don't have a douche rat. okay so my my i've got a couple of little things that i can do um i've got an arm ball so like we said we line that up on the quarter seam our fingers like that and instead of the seam being dead straight to my fingers like this i'm just gonna just run that top finger here runs down the back of the seam like this okay so what you want to do like the seamers when the seamers are running in with the ball like this let's say uh, the red sides the rough side on this in this case I'm bowling right-handed so that would be a way swing okay so it's the same concept for off spinners so I'm gonna just line my fingers now up down the back of the seam hopefully you can see that and then what I'm gonna do is instead of twisting my wrist like this to bowl off spin I'm just going to roll this finger, see if I can see here, yeah. this finger will just roll down the back and then the seam will come out, seam up like that, like an away swinger would and that will just gently curve away from the batter. Now what I want to do here is I want to keep everything I'm doing as similar to my orthodox offspin action as I possibly can because I don't want to give anything away. This is a, you know, every now and again throw this in just to keep them thinking so they don't think you're just bowling offspin. Okay. Another useful tip, well not really a tip, it's more sort of physics unfortunately. The quicker you bowl, generally, the less it will spin. The slower you bowl, the more spin it has. The ball has more time to spend on the ground when it's slower, okay? So one thing I would say to you on any given day when you're trying to figure out what the pitch is doing, I would always start a little bit quicker so it's not going to spin. So tight to the stumps, maybe fourth stump, running it into off stump or just outside off stump so you can, might get the nick, but you're not going to give them width to get cut uh, or you're not going to go too straight so you can get clipped easily. Okay, so start with that and then work out from there. Pull your pace back a little bit. The more it spins, the wider you go. You want to always be hitting top of off wherever you're bowling. Pretty much you want to be aiming for the top of off or just outside to get one through the gate or nick one off to slip. Okay, so like I said before, the more top spin you bowl, for me, if I couldn't really bowl top spin very quick, I found it a lot harder to get over the ball when I was trying to bowl quick. Uh, and generally in first class cricket, as you see these days, the Nathan Lyons of the world bowls beautiful top spin, but he bowls at pace and now that's really hard. Um, Moen Ali, a little bit more side spin, but still gets over it. Um, let me try and think of. Uh, a lot more of the subcontinent spinners, your, your Dages, Ashwin's actually very good at changing his seam positions, but generally they'll bowl a lot more round seam, like I said earlier, because they bowl in spinning conditions, they're just looking for spin, they're not looking for an awful lot of deception in the air. Now unfortunately, us guys who have been brought up in England, we need to try and deceive a batsman in the length. 
Length is everything with spin, okay? Whether you're spinning it, bowling quick, you're bowling slow, uh, you're bowling wide. Not so much the width, to be fair. If you give them width, you can get cut. But if you get the good length, this, to, despite what pace you're, you're bowling, that's really key. All the best bowlers in the world, let alone spinners, seamers, leggies, offies, you know, you name it, when they're the best bowlers, bowl the best lengths. Okay, now again, you're going to have to find your length out. Uh, I was a bit shorter in length to most because of my height. Um, I know that sounds a bit funny, but because I bowl quick, um, it was harder to play if I bowled a good length, slightly short as my natural length. Whereas you guys are going to get footholds, they're going to be a bit fuller, and you're probably going to be a bit shorter than me. I'm six foot six, so not many offies or spinners for, uh, for that matter are, are my size. Um, but you're going to have to get it up there a little bit. We don't mind getting driven, okay? Especially as an offie or a leggy. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of uh, pointers early on, which you can just do at home. You can just practice your seam positions in your hands like this. If you're lucky enough to have a big garden, go for it. Try and experiment a little bit. Right, without wanting to witter on too much, I'll talk very briefly through the run-up, okay? So my run-up, I did actually come in at a slight angle, but what is very important, wherever you come in from, you want to always be pushing your momentum towards where you want to pitch the ball. So if, if that's on fourth stump, fifth stump, which is, you know, outside off stump there, then you want to be lining up your feet to that position, okay? So I used to come in at an angle, but that meant I have to get everything out of the way to come back on target. Whereas a lot of you guys will be taught poss possibly a bit more traditionally in being side on and feet aligned towards where you're bowling anyway so that's great but again with a run-up I don't like to enforce any sort of on my theories on that in terms of you have to do this you have to do that there's no right or wrong I used to have a run-up which uh, where you can't really tell but my garden's probably I don't know five six seven meters long and my run-up used to be quite long and now it's only four paces um, and a run-up is purely there to get your body in the best position it can be to release the ball and get what you want out of that delivery. Okay, some people might need a long run-up, some people might need a couple of steps. It depends, if, but beware, if you're going to go for the shorter run-up like me, I had to be really strong, um, you know, because on the, on, on the day, if my action's not quite working or I'm finding things hard, I don't have the rhythm and the pace of my run-up to take the ball, you know, on target at a good pace. So. If I ever went wrong, I was bowling a bit too slow probably at times. And I'd like to be bowling quicker, but my run-up, if things weren't quite right, made that hard because I bowled a lot from the shoulder. A lot of you guys will have beautiful rhythmical run-ups um, like Graham Swan, uh, to name one. You know, Lion, for example, always gathers momentum to the crease, whereas a little bit slower to the crease and I had to be really switched on when I was bowling for a lot of my career. So there's a couple of things to get you started there. And now what I will do is I will try and, uh, when I have a bit more time and space, I will try and show you a couple of small drills you can do in a garden if you are lucky enough to have, you know, a slightly bigger garden. But for now, what I would say is when you're sitting around or you're in your little space or whatever you've got at home, on the bed, just be flicking the ball. Feel that ball flicking off those fingers, okay? So for the offies, you want to be keeping your top finger, your first finger, on the ball for as long as possible. You want to really feel it round the ball, really feel it round the ball. And for your leggies, it's going to be that third finger. Excuse me for, you know, I have washed my hands. <laughs> so you want to be just flicking that off that third finger in general. So if you do it differently, again, I don't want you to feel that, oh no, I'm doing things wrong because it's not how Ollie did it. You know, there are loads of ways of doing things. If it works for you, it feels comfortable and you're getting the results, keep going with it guys work really hard and then when we finally get out on grass which we will at some stage you'll be ready and hopefully you'll be one step ahead of the game but look guys um like i say take it easy stay safe wash your hands do everything like that um and uh, try and enjoy the weather if you do have the space to do so um but yeah good luck and i hope you get out there sooner rather than later uh, and i'll be in touch soon thanks very much cheers guys take care